Hey guys, so the third knife that was on my wish list uh, for quite some time that I finally got uh, from Fastec is another Sanremu knife, um, and this one is the Sanremu 7090. Um, so this one is a flipper, and a pretty good flipper actually. Uh, the blade is about 66 millimeter long, and it's made of 12c, uh, 12c 27 Sandvik steel. Uh, it's a polished blade, as you can see, and the blade shape is, I would, say, I would call it probably like a modified clip point. And uh, this seems to be like a, a flat grind or maybe a hollow grind. I'm not 100% sure. It looks to be flat to me. Uh, so a small clip here, and uh, the handle is made of uh, again uh, plastic with uh, with glass fiber with some kind of like rubberized uh, insert here uh, the the texture f feels actually quite good like the I guess this rubberized material gives a, a very good grip uh, on the knife we can see some jimping here and again at the back again a liner lock and the lockup is quite good um, pocket clip is uh, tip down only and uh, for right side no other position uh, yeah. I usually I tend to prefer like I mean I'm not that big it's not that big of a concern tip up tip down uh, however on this one I would have preferred uh, being a, a, a tip up uh, simply because like when I have it uh, with a tip down like this like the, the flipper tab kind of sticks out out of the pocket and sometimes like it kind of pokes me or something but you know no biggie uh, glass breaker at the at the bottom with a tungsten tip like all the Sanremu uh, glass breakers and I was actually very surprised uh, of the action on this knife the blade is quite small and the, there's two it seems to be brass washers inside but yeah it flips very very nicely well it, it, since you know, it's a it's a low bu it's a budget knife right so you kind of you know especially on the uh, well not especially on this one but on most budget knives you kind of have to get used to how to flip it uh, so this one likes better the, the push button it goes every time and you can also like li light switch it but you have to kind of it has to be kind of intentional right or else you'll fail it so if you go intentionally then you'll open but yeah very smooth actually let's see if once I press the detent uh, again uh, what well, it goes down it's just I'm too close to the camera and now it doesn't go but anyway smooth enough uh, so yeah, if you're looking for like a, a, a smaller knife in like the six, seven centimeter range, I think this one looks quite cool. I like the blade shape a lot. Uh, quite, uh, you know, a bit in unusual, I guess. And uh, yeah, both the three knives that I've just reviewed, like they're just very sharp out of the box, and they're all very well made. So you can't go wrong with any one of them. This one again, I think it, it runs for about like ten dollars. So I'll put a link. Uh, where I got it on, on fast tech but yeah re really cool knife uh, overall very nice clipper the grip is, is really good and it feel, feels good on hand again I have like about like a three and a half finger grip on it and really not much to complain about other than the fact that in this particular one I would have preferred having a, a tip down uh, sorry tip up option but yeah pretty good knife so I can recommend this one Okay, bye.